So important relation between beta and gamma function. So beta gamma are related by this relation ma beta m n equal to gamma m into gamma n by gamma n plus n. How to prove this one? To prove this, I am taking gamma m. Gamma n you know integral 0 to infinity e power minus x into x power n minus 1 here m minus 1 dx. To prove this one, we are taking one simple assumption ma let x equal to y t then dx will be y d now substitute form gamma m equal to integral 0 to infinity write in the place of x y t e power minus y t x x will be y power m minus 1 t power m minus 1 if you write in the place of x y t y power you will get t power you will get and dx will be y dt. Clear ma? Now, what you are having? Integral 0 to infinity e power minus y t into y power m minus 1 y. Here y power 1. a power m into a power n, a power m plus n. m minus 1 plus 1. 1, 1 get cancelled. What you will have here? y power m t to the power of m minus 1 into dt. Clear ma? Now, I am writing in the place of t x. What happens? dt becomes dx. Integral 0 to infinity e power minus y x into y power m into t power that is t is x right? x power m minus 1 dx. Now take this y power m to this side. If you take y power m to this side, next step, gamma m by y power m equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus y x into x power m minus 1 dx. Take this one as equation number 2 mark. Any doubts you may express till here. Now, we need to get here gamma n. Gamma n means integral 0 to infinity e power minus x into x power n minus 1. You need to get n minus 1, y power n minus 1. How you will get y power n minus 1? To get gamma n formula, I am writing gamma n clearly here. I am writing what is gamma n. Gamma n means integral 0 to infinity e power minus x into x power n minus 1 dx. You know, that means you need to have here e power in terms of y gamma function in terms of y e power minus y into y power n minus 1. If you have here, you will get gamma n. To get that, what I am doing? I am multiplying with multiplying to second equation, this one. Multiplying second equation with e power minus y into y to the power of m plus n minus 1 and integrating this one with this. This term I am multiplying on both sides. Why? Instead of y power n minus 1, we are multiplying with y power m plus n minus 1. So see here, already you are having y power m. I will show you. Already you are having there y power m. y power m by, y power m is in denominator. y power m plus n minus 1. a power m by a power n. a power m minus n. That means, y to the power of m plus n minus 1 minus m. What happens? Plus m minus m get cancelled y to the power of n minus 1 that's what we need we need y power n minus 1 here integral 0 to infinity e power minus y into y power n minus 1 if you have there you can write gamma n for that i am multiplying with that term on both sides so gamma n constant integral 0 to infinity e power minus y into y power m plus n minus 1 dy this one is y power n 
that y power m I am writing here so that you will get clear idea by y power m equal to this side also you need to integrate already one integral is there integral 0 to infinity integral 0 to infinity if you multiply the as usual term I am writing e power minus yx into x power m minus 1 here I am multiplying with e power minus y into y power m plus n minus 1 dy already dx also there so existing term and what term I am multiplying I return there now here gamma m into integral 0 to infinity e power minus y y to the power of n minus 1 dy equal to integral 0 to infinity I am integrating with respect to y first that's why I am keeping y terms only so if we keep y terms integral 0 to infinity e power minus yx minus y e power minus yx minus y if you take minus y common 1 plus x from these two terms I am writing x power m at the end treating constant y power m plus n minus 1 dy at the end I am writing this x power m minus 1 dx ok now this one can be written as gamma m into gamma n this is gamma n from gamma formula integral 0 to infinity so compare this one with the equation 2 ma. if you have here yx into x power m minus 1 that can be written as gamma m by y power m when doing with respect to x with respect to x y is constant that y you need to write but here with respect to y x will be constant that means this 1 plus x you need to write in the denominator in the power you need to write this m in the place of m you are having this term so in this formula write in the place of m m plus n write in the place of y 1 plus x write in the place of m m plus n so here write in the place of m m plus n what you will get gamma m plus n by right in the place of y in the place of y you are having 1 plus x 1 plus x whole to the power of m m plus n into x power m minus 1 dx I am taking this gamma m plus n this side gamma m into gamma n by gamma m plus n equal to integral 0 to infinity x to the power of m minus 1 by 1 plus x whole power m plus n dx we all know one of the beta function form one of the beta function form 2 of beta function integral 0 to infinity x power m minus 1 by 1 plus x whole power m plus n dx is also called as beta m n hence proved the theorem beta m n equal to last step beta m n equal to gamma m into gamma n by gamma m plus n hence proved very most important relation between beta and gamma are you clear ma? simply this term only you need to remember how to multiply with this this one you can easily remember to get gamma n here you should get y power n minus 1 how you will get y power n minus 1 if you write in y power m numerator m plus n minus 1 m m get cancelled you will have n minus 1 that is the logic clear ma?